That's gonna be problematic for him. What happened? He's, well, he's okay. It went through his feet somehow. Oh no. He'll be okay. That's just like hard cartilage. Have there pliers here? He'll be okay. That's just like thin, you know? Yeah. See you later, buddy. We're motor sailing off of the Baja California Peninsula's eastern shores in the Sea of Cortez, located on Mexico's western coast. We left the little fishing village of San Evaristo and are headed toward a spot called Los Gatos, famous for its beautiful red rock formations. One Life is ahead of us and they just saw whales. They're about two miles ahead of us. Uh, and we're now on bow just keeping a lookout because um, this could be the day, my first day ever seeing whales, we'll see. Um, it's bright and sunny and so far nothing. Bill's gonna actually climb the mast a bit. Yes, you heard that right. In all my years of sailing, I've never seen a whale. Bill has. He saw humpbacks on a solo sail before I quit my job and was on board full time, but to this day, I never have. Well, we've been out here for a bit and uh, nothing yet, but I am hopeful. Apparently, uh, the reviews for this anchorage here say that um, whales are often spotted, so. Uh, we know they're somewhere <laughs> right around here. Kind of a cool little observation post. See anything yet? I was actually able to see spouts. Um, I kind of knew that mountain over there. Um, pretty far away, but I saw the water, the spout from the whale. It's also kind of neat because I could see, I actually saw a fish grab our lures back there. You can see him streaking in the water and going for it. It'd just be underwater. They could be. I see his spout cut off right on, right behind it a little bit. Oh. I just saw a definite spout. Oh. Okay. I, don't I don't see it now, but I do see like, it was most definitely a spout. So we just spotted a whale again, pretty far away, but you, you can see his spouts for miles it seems like, especially up here, there's a spout again. You got another one too? It's a big mahi. Oh, I think.
It's actually not that big, so we're gonna throw him back. He's, he's borderline. It's like a hotbed of activity here. I didn't get it on film, but Bill saw a sea lion when he was up with the mast. And I don't know if I saw a large dolphin or a small whale, but I saw something when I was looking in the binoculars across the distance when I came back over the jib, like right in front of the boat, I saw the fin and it go in the water. So I didn't, it was so quick. And it was distorted because I saw it through the binoculars. So I couldn't really tell how far away it was or like the size, but I'm, I think there's a good chance it was a whale. Oh, another small mahi. Thank you though. It's like the third uh -oh. small one today. That one might not oh, be so good. No, he might be okay. Here you go, buddy. So we were just uh, motor sailing along and ran into One Life. They decided to go for a dip, and we thought that was a pretty good idea. Not a bad idea. So we're gonna. We don't know how deep it is. It's our depth sounder can't read here, so that means it's pretty. Over 400 feet. It's over 400 feet. You can see though these. Well, hopefully the camera will pick it up, but there's these like there things of light. <laughs> and the water just looks amazing. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming in next. Be like pumas here. Um, there's a cave where the like, pumas used to live. They're not here anymore, apparently. Yeah, we've never been to that uh, to Zion uh, park, but it sounds like it's got some similar uh, qualities. And I can see coming in because I've seen pictures of it. Um, I can kind of see why uh, there's like a bright red rock on our right, and then there's like a brown, pinky, beige ish rock on our port side getting very excited to explore this place. <laughs> uh, we're just lingering because, not that you can tell that we're lingering, but we are lingering as we enter this anchorage because One Life's behind us. We want to anchor near them. We want to get Starlink. <laughs> Dolls came in before us and they're already anchored in a nice looking spot. We're here. Our depth sounder says we're in 30 feet right now, and you can just see straight to the bottom. It's just crazy. going on yeah oh it just oh there we go it, you got it now I'm definitely holding now it is so hot no breeze so I'm gonna give a little jumper Rudy Nice. 
Yeah, it's really hot. It's like 93 in the pattern. Um, I'm gonna go in too. I just need to rehydrate before I go in because I had a little nap. So for a couple hours, I wasn't drinking any water and now I'm like so thirsty. I can't even like function. So I'm gonna drink some water before I jump in. It's a beautiful place though. I can't wait to be here. I guess we're here, but <laughs> can't wait for the next few days. Too much exploring to do. You can feel the heat like around our boat. Yeah. <laughs> like it's the water's warm around the boat. <laughs> the boat's <laughs> really hot. Yeah, because we engined a lot. We I motored a lot. Here. You what? I can feel the cooler water here. It's so clear. Pretty beautiful spot. I'm in love with this spot already. Beautiful red rocks right there. And yeah, it's, oh my god. I, I can tell. I think this is going to be my favorite anchorage. Pretty cool. And there's nothing sweeter than coming in, dropping the hook in a really calm, beautiful place, opening a cold beverage after a swim, and I did take a dip, I just didn't film it. <laughs> um, and yeah, just reveling in your new surroundings. Life is good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a burning hot shower with hot water heaters. It's fun. <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> but that's reality. <laughs> reality, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and when we say burning hot, we mean burning hot. But more on that later. <laughs> yeah, it's... I, I really like the fact that it's kind of a shallow dune here and then you can see like mountains behind that's a new thing for us i really like it is it really burning hot that was <laughs> uh i think when the pump goes off oof, that's hot <laughs> gosh, gosh. Yeah, yeah we have an issue with our i don't even non-return valve i don't know what it is i try to have a new non-return valve but it's still by flowing backwards <laughs> So we're going on a little mission. Check out this new spot we're in. We came in last night. Uh, there's supposed to be like a nice reef, kind of like that way. And it's one of the hottest days I think we've had since cruising the Sea of Cortez. It's 93 down below and it's much hotter out here. So we just can't wait to get in the water. I'm really excited. The water looks clear and amazing. I'm in love with this acreage. Catch some fish. Uh -huh. Let's see what's going on down here.
I was swimming around, Bill caught something and I missed it. I missed the shot. That was a great shot. Oh, uh, you saw me do it? Yeah. Nice. Right through the head. Is that a? Is that a grouper? A grouper. That's a good shot. Oh yeah. As I pass over a deep crevice in a large rock, the giant eye of a very well camouflaged octopus catches my attention. Though what I first noticed was the lobster carcasses and shells which he used to decorate his home so that he can find it quickly in a time of need. Octopuses have multiple hidey holes to escape into in order to hide from predators at any given time. This octopus is really wedged in deep and so perfectly camouflaged. It's the second one I've seen since we arrived into the Sea of Cortez, and I've only seen about four in total, ever. I'm super excited to have spotted him, especially when he's so well hidden. I thought you were coming to see the octopus. But you got a fish. That's another grouper. Honey, such a good catch. Really. This bad, this guy. Out of okay. Here, fish. Nice catch, Will. I don't even see these groupers. Hey, see them again? the air conditioner on for about, I don't know, 20 minutes already and it's still 86 in here. <laughs> it was about 93 degrees and we turned it on. It's just so hot, so I decided to sort of take the hot air out of the cabin. Well, the cabin is cooling down and I just finished making a meal that I am really excited about. Excuse the crazy lighting, but it's really dark in here and our lights are really bright. Um, I just keep looking in the camera and I can see that it looks pretty funky, but I want to show you guys. We have the grouper that Bill caught, um, which looks amazing. And then I made a potato, um, onion, garlic hash uh, with with the onions and potatoes that we bought yesterday. Was that yesterday? In a little fishing village. So I'm excited. It smells amazing. I'm excited to eat this fish. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> so you're not so excited, huh? Wish I could catch a cheeseburger occasionally. You're gonna like it. I'm sure I'll like it. <laughs> Try this fish. Oh, wow. Oh, that is really good. Mm -hmm. And? The grouper's actually really good. It's not fishy at all. It's, I mean, it's, it's like nice and meaty so. too, which you like. Yeah, you can't really tell what you're eating. <laughs> Super good. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna chill in our little air-conditioned cabin and watch Woodstock. 99. 99.